Hello everybody and welcome back to my Road to Max series where I'm in a steady path to max this account and share my journey to getting there. This episode has a lot of progress in store, but the list of things to do is still massive. I know that Skyblock operates on a power creep, and I'm gonna need to start going down the list and getting the little things I've missed or neglected over time. Now, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button, and if you do find me entertaining, you could hit the bell. It's 100% free, and you can always change your mind later. Let's get into the video. I started by collecting resources and upgrading some of my unpaid interns, which put my skyblock level from 142 to 143, and iron collection to 12. I collected a payment of 25 million for joining a co-op just to build this pixel art cat. I took some time to get power stones from the bazaar, and when I unlocked the slender power, it put my skyblock level to 144. Now I went and put 10 hot potato books on each piece of the final destination armor from last episode, and collected the rest of my unpaid interns resources. This skyrocketed my slime ball collection up three tiers to six, and then maxed my mutton collection, and I got tier nine chicken and feather collection, unlocking the craft for the feather artifact. I pulled my feather ring and upgraded it to the artifact, unlocking the achievement, king of the chickens. I ran to the crimson isle to train in the dojo and unlock the yellow, green, and blue belt, throwing my combat level to 37 and my skyblock level up twice from 144 to 146. Now by collecting from the gold minions I have, I've got the 250,000 collection to upgrade my bank, so I took my three gold blocks, crafted two more, and spent 10 million to upgrade to the deluxe bank account. I grabbed my tier 11 cobblestone minion and traded it in with Bolvar to upgrade it to tier 12. I took a break and when I logged on next, I found a subscriber who had visited from my social display, so I went to their island to say hello and found that they were online. Now this Steve Farmer 2 asked if I took contraband and I thought, hey it'd be cool to throw an item on a wall with his name on it. So sure, as long as he's okay with that. And when he sent the trade, he offered a whopping 25 million coins. I kind of felt guilty as heck, but I already told him I'd take contraband. He asked that I use it to get my magical power to 500 or more. Now let it be noted that I'm not the government and you can absolutely tell me how to spend your money. So this guy's getting the first name on the wall. However, I hadn't made the wall yet. So I pinned it up on a sign so I wouldn't forget and got visited by another subscriber. We had a nice chat, but he walked right up to that sign and did that mind crafter thing that let me see straight into his mind and read his exact thoughts. Yep, same thing with another 25 million. Now I'm going to break the timeline real quick and allow me to say that I've made all my money back with a farming run and if Steve Farmer 2 and GSMO are watching this, please come take your coins back. I feel really guilty for accepting this and would never want to give anyone the feeling that I'm taking advantage of other folks. I've got a contraband wall up now, but it's pretty much going to be displayed for items rather than coins. I won't be taking coin contraband anymore, and if you absolutely don't want your money back, your names will still stay there forever. Anyways, back into the timeline. I crafted the talisman of power and powered it with a fine amber and fine ruby gemstone. I started using that contraband money to buy Agarimu tongues, and I crafted the Agarimu talisman then the ring, and then the artifact. I spent a few million on the bat artifact, and when I put it in my accessory bag, I was bumped to skyblock level 147. I took my shark tooth necklace, bought blue and tiger shark teeth, and upgraded it then buying great white shark teeth and upgraded it to the razor sharp tooth necklace. I upgraded my personal deleter twice and spent 7 million on a titanium ring. Having only two spots left in my accessory bag, I went to Jacobus and bought a couple of upgrades so I could fit the rest of my accessories, buying a third upgrade for good measure. I went to the garden and bought the new pest hunter badges, upgrading all the way to the epic version. I had done the dungeon's crystal core race and gotten all four challenges done, except for the final one where I couldn't use anything except my Lamborghinis and off camera, I grinded this race a lot until I got Got this run. Having finished this, this should have awarded me the next tier of cat talisman, and when it didn't, I got confused, until I looked at the wiki and found the cheetah talisman is the best one awarded, and surely enough, looking back in chat, I found it where I had missed it, unlocking the achievement I'm fast as heck boy. I chucked it in my accessory bag, and with that, I returned to the talmater- that, that, that. 
I returned to the Thaumaturgist and officially got over 500 magical power. Spending a little over 5 million, I put a buy order in for Scorched Books and upgraded my accessory bag a couple more times, unlocking the Soulbound Jacobus Register. Depositing it, which put my Skyblock level to 148. 523 magical power. With this, I should be able to one-shot Zealot Bruisers in the Final Destination armor. Nope, still can't, and I have an idea why but I'm gonna see if I can fix it right now. I sped up the buying process and bought nine Scorched books to combine and unlock the Scorching Power. This gives me a lot more strength, critical damage, and bonus attack speed than the other powers I've been using. Going back, and I still can't one-shot them. I upgraded my one punch to the maximum I could get and still can't one-shot them. I know it needs to be done, so it's time to quit avoiding it. I bought an Enderman Cortex Rewriter and traded it in with my legendary Enderman pet to Cat to come back an hour later and get back an upgraded Mythic Enderman pet. But with that, I went mining. Completing commissions in the Dwarven Mines, I got Mithril Collection 7 and unlocked Heart of the Mountain Tier 5, unlocking the achievement Peak of the Mountain, which bumped my Skyblock to level 149. I claimed the free upgrade, and after a bit of thought, I unlocked Mining Madness, Orbiter, and Front Loaded. I went back to completing commissions, and after a few, I unlocked the achievement Hardworking Miner 3 for completing 100 commissions. I claimed the rewards and found Marigold, who runs the Gold Essence Shop. I emptied my Gold Essence into Unbreaking and Eager Miner, which gives me better health regeneration and higher mining speeds, respectively. I mined a bit and completed more commissions until I got to mining level 30, which bumped me to Skyblock level 150. This is what I needed. I went back and I got my final destination armor back out and reforged all four pieces to the ancient reforge, which gives me a big boost, mostly to strength, crit chance, and crit damage, and has a bonus that gives plus one crit damage per catacombs level. With this, I went back to the zealot bruisers and still can't- I'm just kidding, I'm owning them, hitting for over double their hit points. Now I might actually be able to get back into Enderman Slayer the right way. I tried out a tier two boss, and I'll show you my fight unedited. Yeah, I can kill tier 2s, but just barely. I'm gonna need to do some upgrades. I'll start off by putting Rejuvenation 4 on all four pieces of armor, but I know that some of these upgrades are gonna have to come from Slayer, and it'd be a grind, so I set my eyes on a goal of having level 7 in Zombie, Spider, and Wolf Slayer. I'll have my trackers enabled so you can see how many kills we're at, starting at 98 zombie kills, and on the 99th, I unlocked the achievement Slayer 3 for getting 100,000 Slayer XP. After my inventory started filling up with Revenant Flesh, I went back to my island, got out the ingredients to craft Spider Silk, and upgraded my Slayer Sack from small to large. Now on my 188, Eighth kill, I got a very rare drop for a Smite 6 book, and I thought I had just made millions, making my dopamine rush crash when I found out it wasn't even worth 100 coins. Yeah, that was Smite 6, and the Smite 7 book is the one worth millions. Anyways, I fought my 211th Revenant Horror, and upon defeating it, I leveled Zombie Slayer to 7. I claimed the rewards, which bumped my Skyblock level to 151. I know the Reaper Scythe will be key for a lot of things in the future, and especially the Wand of Atonement. I went on to Spider Slayer and killed a few before remembering to switch the tracker, which technically started at 69 kills. Nice. 
during this, I got string collection to 9, and on my 199th kill, I got Spider Slayer 7, claiming it, which bumped my Skyblock level up 2 levels from 151 to 153. It also gave me this nifty survivor cube, which I threw in my accessory bag. I dropped my loot off in my chest and found that I finally got all pieces of the spider armor set. I took it to the museum and collected all my museum donation rewards, which bumped my skyblock level to 154. Now before I do wolf slayer, I want to upgrade the wand. So I gathered the materials that I could, buying the extra stuff from the bazaar to get a stack of revenant viscera, only to find that I didn't have the 64 enchanted dark oak wood that I needed. So after a while of foraging and staring at this island that looks too much like a player in the distance, I had enough to upgrade my wand of restoration into the highest tier wand of atonement, slapping an ultimate wise 5 book on it. I went ahead and started the wolf slayer grind at 71 wolf kills and I had to leave over and over again because the wolf's den or what's called the Howling Cave, would be filled up with players using Hyperions or anything with Wither Impact and kill everything, leaving nothing behind. This is where I started my last video and built a massive Mona Lisa on my island, along with a portal hub for anyone to use as they wish. In this time, I would be constantly going back and forth and back and forth, getting to the Howling Cave in time to kill a few wolves before a Supermax player started coming in and essentially locking people out. You can see the progress I make with the kill counter on the right hand corner of my screen. Now I was booking it to the Wool Weaver for building blocks when I caught in the chat that the Traveling Zoo was in town, so I checked it out and they had a legendary tiger. Yeah, I bought it. Then I had my first encounter with a double Jerry. What do they want? I forgot that I had maxed my mutton collection, so I quickly made the large enchanted husbandry sack to clear up a lot of chest space. It was at this point where I needed to make the money back from the contraband donations, so I went farming and I collected bugs from being away from the garden for so long. Yeah, I like this update. Free items and free bugs. During this, unexpectedly, I got Pumpkin Milestone 34, which bumped me to Skyblock level 155. I collected another New Year's cake to throw in the cake bag, and sold the Nether Warts, Melons, Pumpkins, and Mushrooms. I slayed a few more Sven Wolves, and while back on my island with the loads of slime interns, the noise was a bit disruptive, which is where I learned about the Silence Block. Crafted and enabled. Now I had a significant upgrade waiting, but just didn't have enough enchanted quartz blocks. So to save time, I bought what I needed and put everything together to craft the Juju Short Bow. One of the top end and nearly the strongest bow on Hypixel. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's second only to the Terminator. I threw on the best enchants I could, and about this time is when the wife hopped on to have some fun together and to see everything I've done with the island so far. She was on her laptop on the opposite side of the room, so I'll throw subtitles on screen when she talks. <laughs> this looks so cool. This looks so fun in here. Thanks. <laughs> That's Larry. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I still love your gazebo. <laughs> I'm going to rebuild my treehouse. You're going to rebuild your treehouse? Let me show you. Come here. Pretend this is your crafting table, right? Okay. That's how you make slabs. Thank you. You're welcome. You okay. You trying to make an hourglass? You see it? The hourglass? Yeah. Yeah. But it looks bad. Are you trying to... It looks like a turd cutting cased in glass. <laughs> it does not look like a turd encased in glass. <laughs> Can you put sand in there? Do you want to? Uh oh. <laughs> Where do you want her? Inside the Yeah. You kicked her out of the gazebo and made her die forever. And I can see the eclipse. 
There is an eclipse tonight. Ooh. How about that? That happens pretty rarely in, in Minecraft. And you just happened to notice it on the night it was happening. <laughs> I love you. Spooderman. Spooderman. Thanks for hanging out with me. Now I went on, and while consolidating runes, I got rune crafting level 22. And when I went back to my island, the lack of my storage system that's been the same since November actually caught my eye, and the island just feels so much more open. I'm glad I got it moved. I started working on the outline of the portal hub, and after testing the guest spawn with another subscriber, Blue Ninja Pikachu, I had wrapped up the infancy stage of the portal hub. Go check out the video I made over it where I made this beautiful Mona Lisa restoration as well. I had left for a bit and when I came back I saw that I had leveled up the social skill from 8 to level 9, very likely due to Blue Ninja Pikachu poking in and saying hi. I took him through a couple dungeon floors where I leveled combat to level 38, gunpowder collection from 4 to 7, rotten flesh maxed at 10, and I used that and I crafted the large enchanted combat sack. I saw the traveling zoo was back in town selling a legendary monkey. This one would be super helpful when I decide to do foraging training. I bought this one too. With all this time going back and forth doing Wolf Slayer, I found a nearly empty lobby and on my 199th kill, I finally got Wolf Slayer 7, claiming it and bumping me up to Skyblock level 157. With that, I upgraded my Slayer sack to large. Looking at the time, this is where I'll end the video. Hey, thanks for watching, and since you've made it to the end, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? It's still completely free. I'll see you guys in the next video, and this is BloomTQ, signing off. Bye bye And after a few, I unlock- I I unlocked the achievement weaver for building blocks when I got caught, when I caught the chat, when I, only to find that I didn't have the 64 enchanted dark old, dark, only to find that I, I went on a spot, I went on to spider, I went on to spider slayer and killed a, I'm